Dear Heavenly Father, we first and foremost thank you for this day, for this gathering of our community, which is much needed. Dear Lord, we thank you for all who come out a sincere heart indeed to make this reality. But we know that you say in your word that whether two or more are gathered in your name, you are the midst, and we know you are among us. And we just pray right now that you touch Brother Bruce and his wife and his family yes, yes. and whatever ails her that you eradicate it, Lord, and just make it all well and like new again, dear God. Yes. We pray that you just bless her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, dear God. Take her from this situation, Lord, and return her home whole yes. and one piece for her family, dear God, where she's loved and needed. We send your word that you will move for her. For our iniquities and by your stripes we are healed. So we're claiming yes. healing yes. and health and wellness for Brother Bruce's wife this day and at this time, Lord. And we pray these things and we thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 One of the things that we started off with was uh, our name is Community Up Project CUP Cup. So we integrated with the schools. We stopped up there to Robichaud. And uh, related to the kids, they gonna come up with our logo. So that was just one of the major things that we started off with. I just wanted to mention that on the start of the meeting. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Owen Roper. Um, I own Roper Consulting and I also volunteer at SOAR with, uh, as a preventive specialist. One of the things that we've started doing in, in the region where I came was the same, for the same reason. We, you know, we are from Minster, we you know, make things to better uh, and that's why I want to get with folks who are like-minded. You know, we're doing the turning renters into homeowners. That may be a program that we can, you know, uh, uh, put together, uh, you know, for that. Where we're sending them, doing, pulling their credit and get, showing them how to get their credit score up. And then also we work with the banks to provide down payment assistance. Well, Sam's my first cousin, you know, um, and I'm just here to just support. So anything that I can do as it relates to resources, just anything that I've you know, really just brought together to the community. I'm here to extend it to this group. So you get to support man. All the resources that come in, man, yeah, to figure out the money part of that. These kids need to go as parents and as adults. So at least give them a good direction to go. In. They don't, ain't no direction right now. We everywhere. The, 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 the city council, they here. The streets here. The, the family here. We all did all different places in Easter right now. Because every summer we do have something to do with it. As Michigans, Michiganese, or Michiganers, however you want to call us, you gotta be uh, in the belief in the history of ink. You should always just stay active, and being proactive is better than growing up. Because kids my age, or mid age kids that's a little bit younger than me, but know just as much as I do because the, the technology that we got today, we just need a little bit more time. We started. At my son's school, we started a food drive, and we funded a pizza party for them. And the class that won, we had a party for them, and um, all the sisters donated five dollars. And we got like about fifteen hundred canned goods. So that's how we started our pantry. I've been advertising on Facebook, asking for donations. We've been getting donations. We've been volunteering at um, some shelters. Um, helping young women. I, I really want to focus on. You know what I'm saying? People who ain't got food or whatever. We donate. We get stuff. You know what I'm saying? So we just gotta stick together. And remember, we all in this together. It ain't about you, 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 you. It's us. That's right. It's a team. Ain't no iron team. Y'all know that. If y'all went to Robert, y'all y'all probably put an iron in that team. No. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm just happy to see all these young men that is here um, out doing something positive. You know, I, I can tell you about everything that everybody said, but I mean, so I'm just really happy, and I hope that this is not it, you know. I, I just, I, I raised a lot of kids. I had nine of them. They're all out here in Easter. I can tell you none of them in jail, none of them are on drugs and all that stuff, and I did that, you know, but I had a support system. He almost had me in tears because they were so overwhelmed and trying to be an outsider and help out the kids on the team, not because of what they do, but because everybody is so divided, it was hard for me to be somebody on the outside communicating with these parents. But I still 
I, I take that as my job in the community. So I stay in the group so I can effectively communicate and pass on resources. I am affiliated with a few different nonprofits in the community, my Over Rose Foundation being one, which is major, and um, different little community give backs like the turkey giveaways y'all hear about. I do a lot of my stuff in the background because I don't I don't need recognition. I want somebody to be able to say, okay, she's dependable, she's reliable. And I also want our people to know that just because you sit in a different environment, that don't mean you can't go to another level. I can sit at the table with the mayors and stuff like that and I can go kick it in the hood. Well that's the bridge of communication. So Anything that y'all have going on, y'all can find me on Facebook, Paris Jones. Uh -huh. I'm an independent contractor. You know, I'm here for the positivity, you know what I'm saying, uplifting each other. Uh, for all my fellas that's in here, if you got a skilled trade or anything, you want to work, I'm here for putting people to work, you know what I'm saying, even if you're looking for a job, I know people that can, or I can help you to get a real job, you know what I'm saying, but if you're scared of a felony or something, you got a skilled trade or anything, you can holler at me, even if you got your own skill, just say you mess with an electrician or a plumber or something, we need to exchange numbers so that way if I got a job going on and they need some work done, I can call you, you know what I'm saying? It's all about networking in between us, keeping it in, you know what I'm saying, in our community, helping each other out. That's how we're going to get us. Because it is definitely needed. We got to be sincere and real about what we're doing. Take care of the business because it's here. It's just wide open for us. We can buy up these buildings up here. We can build stores up here. We can go do our own shopping. We can cut them, the air to Cal G and stuff out. Just do our own business. Like we used to have that was a supermarket right up here. We can do the same thing today. Buy up some buildings, put the groceries in there, and we just put our money into our own community. Uh, you know, uplift my community. Anywhere I can, provide anywhere I can, you know, mind and body. Um, my suggestion is, is we should get together, come together as groups, you know, split it down the middle as groups. We all here as a community, so we all grown, we know how to do it, it's just to get it done. You know, every day is a, it's a course, every day is a struggle for somebody. And to find that, everybody ain't going to be able to do it. going in there, Bruce going in there, Flip said he going in there. So we got one, two, three, we got four right now. We need some more. Can we get, we, 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 we finna go look for some houses, man. Some people to help, yeah, I want, I want, you know what I mean? Some elders. I don't know how to do none of that work. Um, we gotta bring the resources to Inkster. Um, I hear a lot of people talk about a lot of other uh, organizations and a lot of other stuff that's going on. Shit, I'm 35 now um, and ain't nobody did nothing for us. You know what I mean? My mama from Inkster, her mama from Inkster, her mama from Inkster. You know what I mean? Uh, and I ain't seen nothing but it just going down and down and down, bro. And, uh, but what we just did out in the city, and Bruce know, what we just did out in the city, man, has been major, bro. Major. I'm talking about we got four sites, we got the program in high schools, we got contracts, we got MDOC, we got the skilled trades going on, and um, I'm blessed to have been a part of that. But by me being a part of that, I can take that and bring it right out here, you know what I mean? Which is all the resources, the whole organization, and pretty much just the philosophy, bro, of us just locking in. That's the only thing we gotta do is lock in. You know what I mean? If we lock in, like if we lock in before we leave this building, bro, we gonna have a plan. The plan is gonna be what we about to do when we get out there. You know what I mean? When we leave out this building, what we gonna do? Uh, we had a lot of suggestions. Um